really had an amazing experience with my first cytosorb therapy. I initiated it in an individual who had a molar gestation together with clinical hyperthyroidism. She was physiologically significantly deranged, but within eight hours of initiation of therapy, there was a remarkable turnaround in her clinical condition to the extent that she only required one cytosorb treatment and she walked out of the hospital alive. Under normal circumstances, this patient, I would imagine, may not have even survived with the profound metabolic acidosis and uh, the need for very high volumes of vasopressors. Uh, so for me, uh, this was indeed a very good way to start cytosol therapy in South Africa. I think what uh, strikes you first is that you can stabilize uh, patients in septic shock, meaning that uh, uh, blood pressure is going up and we have the chance to reduce the, the dosage of uh, vasopressor medication. And that's a very constant finding and we like that uh, very much, of course. But what I find in my everyday practice is that patients with vasopressor dependent shock whatever the pathology of the shock may be, mostly it's septic shock, the vasopressor requirement goes down. We use cytosorb in critically ill patients on ECMO support and most patients on ECMO support already have ongoing hyperinflammation and uh, in the most critically ill patients on ECMO support we observed a drop in catecholamine demand and uh, an improvement in clinical state on ECMO. We had treated more than 75 patients. We did it because we realize, we feel, we see, we measure if you want, and, uh, obvious effect, impact on the evolution of the patient. And you know, when you treat a severe patient, you, you need, you feel him, you need to see the evolution. And uh, of course, we are very happy to, to have uh, a new technique that offers you a quick impact on this evolution. In my five patient experience, okay, all patients decrease the basopressor doses decrease the biomarker sepsis like lactate, lactate decrease is going down and the inflammatory response and organ multiple organs multiple the function improve and as you see the vasopressor requirement goes down generally the organ function also improves so clinically you will see the kidneys uh, improving the urine output improving the liver functions improving Vasopress is going down, the cardiac function improving. So those are the clinical benefits which you can obviously see. The other benefits which you can talk about it are what you can measure. I have measured, I have been measuring uh, inflammatory markers, cytokines primarily, and the PCTs, they do go down. When we started to use Cytesorb, we were, uh, uh, remain very impressive to the rapid decrease in myoglobin concentration and uh, also the, um, the renal damage was uh, improved very rapidly. So now, uh, for nowadays, uh, Cytosorb is the main device uh, that we use uh, in case of rhabdomyolysis. The clinical effects, the, the more prominent effect is uh, the lowering of, uh, of vasopressors, uh, hemodynamic stability and lowering of interleukin and also uh, in those patients uh, that are now on VA, VV ECMO we can lower uh, also the, the flow on ECMO. Despite the fact we do not have big, big studies, large studies to to come with evidences, we have our personal experience that uh, encourage us to continue to use cytosol.